Hi guys, so I wanted to do a little video on how to get hold of oil and cementing paste in Aberration. These are obviously resources you're gonna need for quite a lot of stuff and they can seem, you know, kind of, oh my god, how do I actually get hold of these things? So when it comes to the oil, obviously you do have the option. The first thing you're probably gonna see is obviously you've got to try to buy it so you can just sort of kill the crap out of them and uh, harvest the corpse. But... There is also a trick is if you've got a crab you can actually get them from out of the water because there is a lot of piranhas in the water on aberration and these guys can actually pick out trilobites from the water and i've actually just killed them by accident rather than picking them out right okay so what you can actually do is if you just reach into the water here with the crab you will actually pick out any trilobites that are under the water here so let's see if we can find an example of that. There we go, we've got a trial bite there. So it just means you can just kind of go around the water and pick them up. And it means you don't have to chase them into the water and you can just do that. Now these crabs can seem kind of daunting to tame at first. But they're actually fairly easy to tame as long as you have the ability to make a raft, make stone items and you can make a catapult turret. So you're going to need metal, wood, stone, raft and all that. And it's actually fairly easy to tame them. Over here is something that I've made for official servers. And that works on official servers over there. I will link a video in the description of how to how I made that. And I'll also link one that uses S Plus and a larger platform capacity. But okay, so you can use your crabs to kind of grab the trilobites out of the water. Which makes it a little bit easier that you don't actually have to sort of muck around with uh, sort of risking the piranhas really. Now your second option for getting oil is kind of going old school and using a dung beetle. They are on aberration and they are in somewhere that starts to get dangerous but isn't, you know, uber dangerous. You could go down there and tame one as long as you have a light source. You can also use a crab to pick one up and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you that now. So you may have explored a little bit and you may have actually found this sort of blue area here. This is where you're going to start really finding the dung beetles. I haven't seen any in this green area and if I have it's not been a reliable amount for me to say you can definitely find them here. But you can find them down in this area here. So I am at 35.6, 52.8. Uh, as you can see I am just off of the edge of this sort of big redwood sort of area here and this is a fairly safe path to actually go you go down into the blue area you are going to need to have a light source i've got like a feather light on me here and it's going to have one of them because you do get nameless spawning down in here and there is actually a path down here that you can just walk down now i'm going to i'll take the crab just to show you can pick them up but anything you can come down here safely on is good I would say try to go down here on something fairly beefy because you do also have those ravagers and they can be a bit nasty. And you have other things like, you know, these uh, arthropleurus. There we go. Spitty, spitty millipedes. There we go. That's what they are. So you can see, I'm just going to go down in here. And what I'm going to do is I find that the dung beetles start to spawn once you actually see the blue area. And as you can see, there's one right here. And we just go, okay. I'm taking you home to take you. Now, the cool thing about these as well is, I don't know, if actually, would it would it hold on to it? Let's have a look, shall we see? I don't know if these guys are actually going to hold on to something. Yes, they do. And it, you could actually just jump up and feed them. There we go. Actually, I think. I need, what do I, I think I need poo to feed them, don't I? Anyway, but you could just pick one of these up and you could take them home and you could use them. Dung beetles, they do need to be able to wander. They're not like the snails or the at, at, t, 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 the snails. Um, they're not like the snails at all in the... They do have to not be weighted down. Hey, there's a snail there. Um, they have to be able to move around. And I would also say try not to put dung beetles on ceilings or on foundations. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back. I'm just going to build a little pen, show you taming this, and yep, get on with it. Right, so as you can see, I'm just going to collect a little bit of poop. Ark, the only game that makes you want to collect poo. And I can actually just sit underneath this dung beetle here and wait for it to drop down and feed it. There we go. So what, if you've got a crab, it makes life a lot easier. 
I would say you can actually tame them out in the wild, but once again, make sure you clear the area. And also what I would consider doing is actually waiting for like the dung beetle to sit into a wall or something, throw down some fence posts and some doors around it, and sort of tame it that way. I think they get aggressive, and I would say you probably want yourself a ghillie suit. Uh, you can get quite a lot of organic polymer from killing these crabby crabs and they are actually really easy to kill if you've got a spine up anyway i'm just going to sit here and uh, tame this up it's going to take a while and then i'm going to build a pen for it hey right, that is the dung beetle tamed now i just need to go and build the pen i'm just going to build it off to the side out here now with your dung beetles you want to make sure you give them um as much weight as possible so they can actually move because if they if they're weighted down at all they won't actually produce anything okay so i forgot that i need to remove the doorway um so i've <laughs> had to remove that get him in here and now i won't be able to get out of here um now what i've done is i've made sure it's not too filled up with poop set him on wander and now by the time i come back he should have created a fair bit of oil they can actually produce oil from four different types of poop at the same time so you can give them human small medium and large right okay so that is the sort of basic ways to get yourself some oil when you're starting off there are places you can actually harvest oil that are from rocks but they're quite dangerous so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the first of these that i think is the least dangerous but takes a little bit more setup and then i'll show you a more dangerous place that you do have to be careful of but you don't really need a setup apart from having a dino that can go down there right so the first of these places which is the least dangerous of them you're only going to get seekers and you will also get the occasional reaper but it'll be a reaper king rather than a reaper queen they have about eleven thousand health decent spino should be able to deal with them crab can definitely deal with them a rock drake can definitely deal with them now where you're going to go and do this is you're going to go to the surface where i am here this is one of the places that i, I like to go onto the surface i'm at 26.9 61.9 now i'm just off of the sort of northernmost of those rivers just gone up the path there and up here we'll be able to actually go up into the surface and what i've done is i've set up an elevator now if you come up to this path or if you're going towards the daylight and you see this it's daytime up there and you don't want to go up there because you will start taking quite a bit of damage and a nasty debuff let's see if i can go close enough as you can see that's you don't want that to happen so i'm going to wait for it to get to night time okay so it's night time it's a little bit hard to see here and what i've done is now you can actually just if you just want a rock drake you can just climb up here wow really i'm still getting a, a heat thing at this time of day that's interesting oh well at least it's survivable um so as you can see with the rock drake you can just climb up here and what we're looking for is these kinds of rocks let me show you where they are these rocks here they look like obsidian rocks they are actually rocks that you can harvest oil from i've forgotten to bring a pick with me but i'll just do it with my climbing picks and as you can see you can harvest them for oil now you don't have to come up here with a rock drake and i'm just going to show you here so what i've got here is this is just a wooden elevator track i'm going to go down to the bottom now this is just a medium elevator platform that i've got on here this was just as a demonstration purposes so what you do is you do this now you want to go up to the top now this is a little bit too high for you to just do a rope ladder so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to climb up there with picks and you can just climb up the uh the actual elevator track here there we go do that and now what you need to do is to use these wooden elevator platforms you need to do this right? so you keep clicking on it it's going to take a while cool took a long time can't think why i have rsi in my left hand there we go got him up here do one more there we go. it's above there and then you could take him off to there obviously getting off of the elevator platform you need to be really careful uh, if you're a dino and to be honest if your dino does fall you need to jump off now this is just a medium one a large one is a lot easier to get up here 
uh, well, it has a lot more space. I just did this because, yeah, I built the elevator platform, the elevator track in the wrong place. But anyway, so what you're looking for there is rocks that look like obsidian. Now, you can actually also get yourself um, element ore up here and actual obsidian. So, just so you're aware of that. Oh. Okay, guys, so the last place I think is fairly safe if you have the right dinos and reliable to get hold of oil is down here where you would find the drake eggs in this sort of purpley water area. As you look around here, as you can see, there is loads of these, absolutely tons of these rocks around that I've got an oil with. Let's go over here. As you see, there's another one over there. There's another one there. Loads on that side of the shore. Now, I the reason I would say with this one is you need to have the right dino is you literally can't get to here and get back up unless you have a dino that can jump or can fly. And so you want to be coming down here on a crab or a drake. Now, this is also the only place where I know of that you see these rocks and you're not going to see Reaper Queens. I don't even know if you do see the oil rocks in the Reaper Queens, but this is where you will get oil. It's down where the drakes are. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link in the description two videos. One of them is a route to get down here and back up on foot. That's if you want to take a crab, because on a crab you're going to have to go back up on foot. And the other one that I'm going to link is a video that showed how to get down here and back up with rock drakes. It's also the way to jump down. Uh, the only reason I'm linking those videos rather than actually showing you right now is it's going to be a really quite long journey if you're going back up on foot. And also, I just wanted to make this as quick as possible for people to be able to just go, okay, there's oil. And I don't want the video to actually be completely taken over by the fact of just getting oil from one place. But I am just going to show you where you would jump down if you were using a crab. And this is how you get back up with a drake. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly show before I went on to doing the cementing paste was this is where you would go if you're on a crab or a drake to sort of jump down there quickly. Now, there are other places you can jump down, but the reason I like this place here is that it's a good reference point. It's fairly easy to find. Um, I am at, let me bring up my map. I am at 48.0, 52.0, and there you go. That's where I am on the map there. Um, you can actually find it fairly easily. So what I'm going to... Oh, oh. Don't know how I managed to do that. Anyway, so the reason I like jumping down here is you've got this reference point of that spine. Now that spine is also where you just climb back that up on the, on the drake and you just sort of aim over here. You're looking for this big metal structure here and you'll be able to get back. On a crab, you need to go back up by foot and that is a really long route i don't really want to show that in this video because i want this to be quick and the video will just be completely taken over by that route i mean it, it takes a really long time if you're going to go down there to get oil i would take a drake because you can get back up in five minutes as a crab it is literally a 30 minute run to get back up well i just wanted to come back and show you that the dung beetle has been making oil they don't make a huge amount of oil but they do make some and it's something you just leave going I've been gradually sort of leveling up the weight. Now, he is on Wanda, and he isn't weighted down, but, um, or it is on Wanda, and it isn't weighted down, but it doesn't seem to be moving. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, just don't necessarily be panicked by that. Leave it 15 minutes. If it's not making oil, uh, then you might need to have a look around. But like I said, it doesn't necessarily move around when it's on Wanda, but it needs to be able to actually move. The snail, though, is a completely different story. Right, so I'm going back to the same place that I found the dung beetle at the start of the video. And uh, you should find those snails. Are they Acatinus? Acatinus? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but you should find those snails all around here as well. And I'm going to be taking this guy just because it's once again just to demonstrate that you can use these crabs quite easily to tame these little things. Now these snails are not a passive tame. Uh, they are something you need to drop them with a tranquilizer gun and you also need to feed them sweet vegetable cake and they will only eat sweet vegetable cake so just be aware of that you need to have your farm set up beforehand oh there's one wow they still got this on that's interesting at least we obviously haven't done a wild dino wipe because we've still got one on that is a snail isn't it yeah that is a snail but okay so 
got myself a snail. As you can see, you don't have to go far down into here. And I just wanted to say that if you... Hey! Leave my snail alone, arsehole. Rude. So what I was trying to say was, um, actually down in here, if you follow this downwards in here, you can actually go down along to the right here and still be on foot and you'll often find dung beetles and snails down there as well. Right, so let's get this guy home for any more people to try to try and kill him. Wow, we didn't actually have a rifle. I had to go and make one. Okay, now it shouldn't take many. I've got shocking tranquilizer darts because it's fairly easy to get biotoxin here. Right, here he goes. Drop him. There we go. And now it's just going to throw some of this sweet veggie cake in there. Right, there we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the sweet veggie cake out of it. I'm going to fit it up with stone so it can't move. I've also gone ahead and thrown some sweet vegetable cake in our feeding trough here for it. And that's just going to allow me to do this. I can fit it up with stone. Here we go, to the point where it's weight's maxed out. There we go, won't be able to move. And now what I can do is go behavior, enable wandering, and that should start producing cementing paste and organic polymer. So I'm only a couple of, I mean, I, I think maybe five minutes in. As you can see, it's already starting to make paste. Even though its uh, inventory is completely filled up, it's still making paste. So, guys, I literally just finished up the video and I was talking to the missus and I said, hey, this is this and she went, you just want to use a frog to get cement in paste. I feel like a right duh. Yeah, of course, frogs as well, cement in paste, duh. Right, okay. So now I haven't seen many, if any, frogs outside of the blue area either. You do seem to see them over there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you some of the areas you can find water down there. Um, I'm just going to grab a frog. Obviously, I don't need to tame that. Um, well, I don't have to show you the full details of taming it. I'm just going to find a frog. So I'm going down to the same blue area that I found everything else. Now, I will say with this one, for finding the frogs, I actually find going left is a little bit easier. Oh. Do you mind? Yeah, so go, rather than going down here and turn to the right, we can keep going. If you keep going down to the left here, I find that there's more water to go into. Now, I would say be very careful with this because the frogs are going to be, if you go over to the right over there, it's a lot of eels and there's a lot of jellyfish, which you kind of obviously want to be careful of. You don't want them giving you any grief when you're in the water. So let's just go down here. And to be honest, this is another one where it's just as long as you find water in this blue area, you are going to find the frogs. But it's just I try to steer clear of too much of the really deep water. Oh, I can see a frog down there. There's also some nasties around, as you can see. So let's just deal with those. Go away, Baronix. Oh look, hello eels, you go by now. And there's a frog. We'll just jump back up there. So this area I'm in here, um, this seems to be a not too much of a nasty area. Um, I'm at, let's be up the map. I am at 40.5, 60.9. Basically, I just went down uh, the a little bit further down that hill that I was going to find the snails and the dung beetles. Anywhere around here, you will find frogs. Just be careful. There are obviously nasties in the water. And I would say if you're really desperate for cementing paste, um, you can kill quite a few things that will actually give you chitin. And that's another way to do it. Also, you know, get yourself a Megalosaurus and... That will be able to grab anything. Also, you can tame snails uh, without doing it passively. So what you could do is, you know, find a snail, get some buildings around it quickly, you know, even some gateways. Actually tame it that way, and you'd be fairly safe to do the tame inside there. It's just my personal preference would be 
use one of these crabs. You know, you, you literally only need metal as a resource to get this. Might need a little bit of cementing paste for the catapult turret. I can't remember off the top of my head. Basically, once you've got the catapult turret, you'll be able to get yourself one of these. And it just makes life so much easier for getting things back and forth. Right, okay, so uh, let me take this back and tame it. Right, so there's nothing special about taming these frogs. It's literally pretty much like anything that eats meat. Drop them with a tranquilizer, put meat on them, and they'll tame out. Let's see if I can drop it. There it goes. Don't, but that's a very high level one. No, it is not. <laughs> there we go. So I just uh, managed to kill a bug there. And as you see, I've got 28 because of cementing paste for it. They are a little bit of a turd to kill with these things because you do have the sort of main attack with the tongue and then you have this sort of sideways sweep attack. But these things turn faster than the frog does. So you kind of have to wait for them to go around a circle and then try and hit them with a the tongue. Right guys, so that is four ways to get oil. Two of them are fairly safe and two of them are not so safe. And there's also two ways for you to get cement in paste. So you've got your snail here, which would just gradually create cement in paste over time, which is kind of cool, I think. You know, you don't actually have to leave your base. It will just keep making cement in paste for you. Or if you want to do something a little bit more active, you've got your frog here, which you can go and kill those bugs with. Bugs aren't going to attack you back. But I will say, yeah, this, this guy, kind of rubbish because it was level 5 when I got him. So, yeah, definitely not worth using him. You do want to get yourself a high level one. I would say that you probably want to have, a, have yourself a crab to get most of this stuff. Or, you know, a Megalosaurus. Or if they've got them, I can't remember off the top of my head if they have the... Crocodile thingies that you can pick things up with. I can't remember what the name is. Um, but, you know, you do have the option now. If you have one of these and you have a dung beetle. So you've got a snail and dung beetle. You literally don't have to leave your base. You could just keep getting yourself oil and things. So you could be self-sufficient in that way. And then you've got the more active methods of doing it. Right, guys. So I hope you found this useful. Um, I do plan to do a video that is sort of going over all of the aberration resources at some point. But these were some of them that... They're kind of, they're needed for everything. You know, the, the gems and things like that are really only needed for very aberration specific things. But just to get yourself, you know, just get yourself generators going and things like that. Get yourself any sort of decent armor. Uh, you're going to have to use the cement in paste to obviously make the things that you're going to need for that. Anyway guys, I hope you found this useful. Hope it helps you get oil and cement in paste. Have fun. Catch you all soon. Bye. So I'm sure we all know that YouTube has kind of screwed over us small creators at the moment. If you feel inclined to pressing that subscribe button, I will love your face so hard. So hard. Wait, that sounds wrong. Or does it sound right?